So we're going to install an AIO6 LTE system on this uh, 2008 690 Juke. Let's start. So first of all, we need to access the battery on this bike. So we're going to take out the seat and the gas tank. So now that the gas tank is out, we need access to the battery the battery. Next, we're going to remove all these uh, handlebar accessories so we can have more space to fit our AIO6. So, since the battery is exposed, we can, al we we can already uh, install our uh, power harness for GE. So, the power harness is uh, its really simple. It connects directly to the battery. Then it has a 3-amp uh, fuse, consuming around uh, 1 ampere at startup and 0.5 at idle. So, it really doesn't need that much power. Then uh, we have this yellow wire, so this is the, the feeder or the signal wire. So we, uh, we can put it on the fuse box or to the headlight. Basically, it's the wire that turns on the uh, the unit. So uh, again, the Chigi connects directly to the power, and this one just feels if the bike is on. So uh, before we uh, close everything up, uh, usually what I do is I uh, activate the unit. So just in case we need to, uh, there's loose wiring anywhere. With the IO6 needs a functioning Wi-Fi to activate. Normally what I do is just, I just turn on my personal hotspot on my phone and connect from that. Because if you skip this step, it's going to region lock in China. First, we select a region, which is Philippines, set the time zone, then we connect it. the device to my cell phone. So once that's done, we can activate the unit. So we'll just uh, turn this off again. Then we can uh, mount the AIO6 to the handlebars. You want to tighten it just right. Don't over tighten this. Okay, once that's all tight, you can check. Again, there's a built-in damper on the AIO6, so a little uh, play is acceptable. So when we're routing the wires on the AIO6, uh, especially if it's handlebar mounted, so don't forget every time you uh, turn the bike, it, uh, the cable needs to turn with it. So the best way to do that, to ensure that uh, it doesn't get uh, stressed too much, is that uh, you just follow the wires where the stop uh, switches go. So in this case, from the handlebar, it goes to the center. That's where also we're gonna come. At the same time, the good thing about uh, just following the stop OEM wiring is that we can just use cable ties to secure the uh, the cheeky wiring. Oh, there, cheek, you can barely see the wires. All right, so when installing the cameras on the AIO6, you can install it uh, offset on the left or offset on the right. Normally in this bike, uh, it would be ideal to put it here, like center, it's easy. It's easy to wire this. Uh, um, we'll just stick it there. Then the wire just connects to the AIO6 harness. So our next installation, since we already installed the front camera, is for the rear camera. So. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, mounting possibilities that you can mount your camera on the rear. So again, it doesn't have to be centered. But ideally, if you can put it to centered, any better. I would suggest against putting it on the fenders, especially if it's plastic fenders. Check your fenders first. I mean, this one is plastic, so it flaps around. Though the camera has a built-in uh, vibration damper for the best uh, footage results. I mean, you need to want to uh, mount it somewhere solid. The challenge in installing rear cameras is that sometimes have a really solid body panels at the rear. So as you can see here on this uh, 690 Juke, there are no gaps whatsoever where we can put the wires. So uh, first, we'll need to uh, find a place where we can stick this. So the good thing about the new uh, hardware that the uh, AIO6 camera uses is that it's really, really pliable and soft. So as you can see here, this is not a flat surface, it's curved. So we can uh, 
hold it with their hands just to get the general shape of it. So one of the advantages of uh, hooking up the power supply on the screen first is that uh, before you finalize your mounting point, you can adjust your camera here at the rear. So there you go. It's uh, it's in there really, really solidly. <laughs> Once we finalize the mounting point of the camera, we'll need to hide the wires now. There are absolutely no gaps on the plastics on this bike, so we need to take it out of. We need to take everything apart so we can uh, put a small uh, hole here so we can uh, put, push, the, push the cable through. So completely no exposed wires and the uh, wire is neat. So, okay, so we've installed the AI of the screen on the handlebars. Then uh, we have also installed the front camera and rear camera and has, then we've just finished closing up all the fairings and uh, tidying up the wires. So the only thing left to do is to uh, reassemble the bike. Okay, so uh, we're done. We've closed the bike, Pam is back into place, seat is back into place. We've closed all the, all the body panels. So the only thing you have to do is uh, check the settings on the Chigi AI-06 and we're ready to ride.